Are you kidding me? I am in the wrong mountain. Oh, poopy. Hello everybody, my name is and welcome to my channel. We are back with another episode of Dime Society SMP. We are in a fact term area and specifically we are at the site of my former Oromena Cactus Farm. As you can see, it has been destroyed. I have kind of moved it towards the back over there. The little cobblestone tower at the back, it used up a lot of cobblestone, let me just tell you that. So the reason why I moved it was um before I actually started building this, the initial uh, cactus farm. I actually checked with Traven, the build coordinator, and just asked like, where could I build my ornamental cactus farm. I don't think he realized that Eddie, Additive G, was actually planning to extend her farm to this area. So uh, I, I it was kind of my fault because I didn't check with her, considering that I built so close to her build, uh, her ranch. So uh, after checking with her, she said that she is actually planning to use some of this area, and since uh, Eddie was responsible in flattening out most of the Mesa, it seems only fair that I was the one to move. So uh, I destroy my entire Ornamental Cactus Farm and move it towards the back. So yeah, Eddie, you can use this place right now. I just want to mention that I actually did a couple of changes towards my Ornamental Farm. By the way, I've also walled up this area so that to increase the efficiency of it because I'm actually measuring the efficiency right now of the Ornamental Cactus Farm. And yeah, what I want to say was the previous. I was I've been watching a couple of tutorials for the cactus farm, and I realized that my design was a little bit, a little bit inefficient. So what happened was the cat when the cactus breaks, it either like initially this was cobblestone wall, and what happened was initially when the cactus grew and it break, it hits a cobblestone wall. There's a very high chances of it falling back onto the cactus, and hence getting destroyed. So, uh, because cobblestones are placed on both sides, there's only, it's like 50% chances it will hit both sides of the walls and fall it back. And if it does fall to the side, uh, the problem was it also has a high chance of hitting and dropping onto the cactus below it and up getting destroyed. So the efficiency was pretty bad. Uh, and I've watched a couple tutorials and trying to come out the solution. So, and one of the recommended or the, the common a method was to replace the cobblestone with fences. So this is what I did. So what happened was when the cactus grew, uh, grow, it would break, it would hit the fence, it will drop down right below here, the water here, which is why I kind of suspend all my sand on top of a slab so that the water could flow, oops, something just break, could just flow freely down here. Did it break or did it hit the cactus? I don't know. I thought something break, but I don't think anything flow out. Let me see. Something must not be working. Second changes I made was I increase, I make a floor for each layer and I add water on each layer. And the reason why was because when the cactus break and if it's too far up, it doesn't fall in a straight line. It has a tendency to deviate towards the left or towards the right. And when it does that, it has a high chance of hitting the other cactus below. So by putting layers, water layer in each uh, floor, it helps control the cactus falls, so you just fall down here and you hit the wall and it'll go straight for the hopper rather than it deviates towards the sides. I'm not sure if you understand what I'm trying to say, <laughs> but uh, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, uh, so the problem with this is that it actually added a lot more layers, like the whole slabs thing. In my previous build, I was able to fit four layers of cactus farm uh, in the same height. Whereas with this layer, this design, I only can be able to fit three. There's still additional more space above, but I really do not want to make this build too big. Uh, number one, because I'm really high up, I don't have any elytra wings, so... <laughs> but secondly, it's also because the design that I have come up with... Ooh, yay, bye bye! <laughs> the design that I've come up with is pretty huge, and I don't want it to be too big. And yeah, so I don't want it to be... It's really quite tall up. I think we're already at 20... Uh, about 21, almost 28 I think, 28 blocks high up, so to me this is already pretty high enough, and yeah, since I don't think this server needs a lot of cactus, so I'm going to trade efficiency over aesthetics, because, you know, aesthetic is nice, you want to show your build nice, and I don't think anyone really actually use cactus a lot, like I'll be using a lot, because I'll be doing a lot of green stuff, the so design that I want to make is that it's going to be a it's going to be a tower that looks like a cactus, rather than a cactus that looks like a tower, if 
you know what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to build the at least the basic of this tower by the end of this episode. So hope you be able to see it and you understand what I'm trying to say. Because I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's tired. I'm late. I'm tired. I'm late. Ugh! I can't speak apparently. So um, we shall see you then. Aries Lads, my name is Trevor, and welcome to another episode on the Diamond Society. And today, I'm joined by Dream Matthias, and today we're going Hi. to do some Abba Caving. Yes, Woo! it's me versus Traven. Yeah, yes. basically uh, AFK is like setting up a huge like Abba Caving tournament thing, and like a bunch of people are involved in this whole thing where like you go down, you get as many awards as you can, each award is worth a different amount of points. Person with the most points wins. Then you put it into a pot like the win. There's, we, there's a bunch we, of details. We'll explain later. Do you remember the points? I kind of. <laughs> okay, I, well, I, we'll look, we can look it up later. Uh, well, we're going 15 ish minutes because I don't have a proper timer. Well, so, I have uh, a tree? Clock, so. Yeah. Well, okay. we could just say, like, when it gets to 15 more minutes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I count right. oh, yeah. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I let the music start. <laughs> uh, how much hit start do I have? Uh, ten seconds. Ten seconds. Now I only have two more seconds. One more second, you and had, I'm back in. You had to pick. <laughs> oh, you had to pick a mine shaft. Did you? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, my friend. I'm like in this dilemma whether I should just uh, collect, not collect, like I want to collect the ores, but at the same time I want to light it up as much as possible. Yeah, I'm, I actually have the torches in my offhand uh, and then just like placing them as I go. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, chest. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of coal. Oh, name tag. Oh my god, why is there so much useless stuff in this? Oh, I'll take it anyway. <laughs> what happens if you find ores instead of the blocks in the chest? Does that count? I don't think it counts. I don't think it counts then. It has to be like the actual block. Well, then this is a useless oh. chest then. Oh my god, why is there so much iron and coal? Come on. Don't they have points, iron and coal? Uh, no. Iron and coal don't have any points. Really? They're, I just they're like. They're like the only one that don't like amount to anything. Oh shoot. god! No 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 no! Am I winning? How did it? What the fuck? This is a creeper and it exploded, but it survived its own explosion. Huh? Now oh, there's so many mobs. Really? I'm not seeing any actually. I I, I saw one. That's it. Oh, 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 so they're just chasing me. Oh, jeez, thanks, thanks, guys. Oh, shoot. Have I ever mentioned I'm never that good, great in Minecraft? <laughs> I, I don't think many people really are. Well, that's how I got an apple. I mean, does... does that count? <laughs> you found a golden apple? Yeah, apparently. And some coals, and some seeds. Oh, oh I see a spawner. God, imagine if breaking the spawner got your points as well. Mmm, nah, I'm not gonna risk it. We should, we should do an abbot caving that's like all sorts of like, uh, like a s really stupid stuff. It's so like, uh, How many you know, you get? get points. Okay. Yeah, or it's like you have to do really like stupid and dangerous stuff to get points rather than just collecting orcs. <laughs> like, uh, it's like a true or dare. Fight a wither! 25 points. Oh, I found a cave. Like a proper cave, not a mine shaft. I'm out of space! Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, you could probably try and, like, toss some stuff if you want. Yeah. The thing is, I don't even know what has points and what don't, so. Like, do seats have points? <laughs> Why is this mine shaft so big? You're still in the mine shaft. Yeah, I'm still in the mine shaft. <laughs> okay, Wait. time's up. Okay. Yeah, it's time to find a way back up to the surface somehow. Uh... <laughs> How exactly? I'm lost. 
am I in? I'm in mean, bush forest biome. Okay, that's. Oh, you're 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 climbing through a mountain. Am I? Yeah, you're 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 coming up through uh, Silver Coast's thing, I think. Oh. That's uh, seven one seven. What should Actually. I do? Hello. Yeah, I don't have dirt anymore, so I'm gonna put stone. I have a bit of dirt, so just. How? Oh hi. Uh, sh sh just get out of here. Go, go. Okay. Run. You have two yeah. chests. You have a double chest. I mean, it's not a full double chest, but you know. Okay. I'm not even right, half you... full. Okay, I've written okay, have my got, points. Have you got it? Yeah. Have you got it written down? Yep. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Turn. No way. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> double. What did you oh, have? Geez. You had diamonds. <laughs> Jeez, I got nearly triple your score. My oh God! Oh my God! I lose. I lost. Get wrecked. Bad. Get I wrecked. Lost so bad. Well, I wish you the best in beating the rest. E, <laughs> mess with the best, and you get with the. There, there's a rhyme there somewhere. And we are back at our automated cactus farm. I do hope you enjoyed that little clip that me and Traven did. That was part of AFK Falcon's Abba Kimmy challenge. Uh, I think a couple of people have already played. Uh, I just watched Hodak versus James, so you can go watch that. I've also watched uh, Falcon versus Itais, and yeah, I'm not gonna tell you who the winner is because you have to watch that. But yeah, I lost, so I won't be in the next round. But that's okay. Anyway, back to our old Meta Cactus Farm. So this is our base design. I'm not gonna use. By the way, I'm not gonna use birch. This is a temporary wood. I'm planning to use like jungle or spruce, I haven't decided yet, but this is sort of the basic design that I have come up for my iron cactus, so uh, it's round shape, and it's great, so it's kind of have the feeling of the iron, iron cactus, so because cactus is right, initially my initial design is kind of rectangular, but uh, I'll, I'll show it to Coop, and Coop was uh, suggesting that I do it like round, because cactus are naturally round, maybe not in Minecraft. After this, I'll be adding thorns, which will be made up of black wool. I don't have any wool with me right now. I have to go back to my base to get some wool. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be filled up with wools at the side and kind of make it look thorny. And then the center here, uh, there's going to be like glass, a couple of glass mix, uh, like gray and light gray and black uh, glass, just to give it the effect of being thorny in the inside as well, in the middle as well. And then I'm going to add, my plan is also to add trap doors just to give it more steampunk look because like I said, it's going to be a tower that looks like a cactus rather than a cactus that looks like a tower. Uh, so it's going to be like a tower, so there's going to be like trap door which kind of, kind of make it look like windows. Uh, so it looks like there's a couple of layers of windows and such like that. And yeah, but right now I need dye, I need black wool, I need dye, I don't have a lot. I'm also out of food and I'm going to go back to my base. Because anyway, I just want to show you a little bit around the server because the server has kind of transformed a bit. By the way, Addis has also greenified her, greenified her farm, so it looks more like a ranch now. I think all this is for the animals, so I don't think it's actually for me to eat. I cannot take any of these, but that's okay. But yeah, the server has been. Uh, it's Christmas time soon, and the server, uh, server specifically BC, has been doing a lot in trying to make this place as festive as possible. There's a Christmas tree at the slums and then there's like a bunch of candy canes all throughout the server. I'll show you guys once I reach the town center. So we have arrived at the slums and there's candy canes uh, everywhere as well. There's more presents at the back there. Uh, really cute, really festive. There's not a lot of snow yet though. Uh, I guess snow are not easy to co collect. But there's, there's the Christmas tree with the beacon, with the star beacon. You know someone should actually put like an effect there, like I don't know, like regeneration or something. Like, I would really love to have a beacon in the slums, but currently the slums doesn't have any beacon, which is kind of sad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is a secret Santa, uh, Diamond Society, secret Santa name selector. I don't really know how does it works. Ooh, I like this block. I forgot what it's called. This is a Prismarine or something. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but yeah, DS SMP secret Santa name selector. Press button, take name. Go shopping, leave gift. Well, we don't exactly need to go shopping. Uh, I don't. The thing is, I don't really know what gift should I like get because I'm not very rich. I'm not very good at Minecraft. Oh my god, that's so cute! Silver has done something in his house. He did. Oh, oh, 
Oh my god, that's pretty. I will check that out later. But let's collect a name, and we shall see whose name we get. And we are back at our base, and look who decided to drop by. A snow golem. Hi, snow golem. Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, so apparently someone has been pranking the entire server with snow golems. They've been putting snow golems at everyone's base. Mine being as well. I think Traven has it. Hodak has it. And we still have no idea who did it. Nobody has yet to admit that they are the one who've been putting snow golems. But it's actually not really a not much of a. I don't see it as a prank because I could be using this snow like. We, we are in a Christmas uh, season and it is about time to decorate our base. I have no idea how I want to decorate it yet because, well, I, I'm just not good when it comes to building and inspiration and all this crafty, crafty stuff. But I think snow would be helpful. Like, we layer this place with snow. Problem is, I'm using staircase instead of solid block, so... <laughs> that. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go back to our base, but before we go back, I do want to start giving Christmas gifts. I mean, it's a bit early, but uh, I think why not? Because uh, remember the Abba caving that we did? Yeah, I got a Silk Touch pickaxe from that. I, I, I don't think it's with me right now, but it's actually one of the rules of the Abba caving is that we need a Silk Touch pickaxe, which I do not have. Uh, and, and Traven has been really kind enough to give me one, he went to Cortez a uh, um, villager farm and do some trading and then some um, enchanting. I, I don't really know exactly what did he do, but essentially what, I, what, is, what he did was he gave me a sick touch pickaxe. I did offer to return it back to him, but he said it was okay, it was fine, I could keep it. And before the challenge start, I did mention if, that if he managed to get like another silk touch for me, I would trade him for my fortune. And I have one fortune, uh, di diamond fortune pickaxe, which I don't really use. So instead, I'm just going to uh, give this to him. I then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, repair it first. So the second person that I want to give a gift to is Slime. Uh, for those who, if you actually watch Slime's episode, he just uploaded his uh, episode 1. He sort of just started on this server and uh, he's been really busy. I think he was moving or something. And he hasn't really done much. Uh, he was in the server a few days ago. I think it was yesterday or was it two days ago. I don't remember. And it was really pity of him because he got stuck at the end. He had problem finding his exit out. So I assume that he hasn't done much. And I thought that it would be such a nice gesture of me, of myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give him like a couple of diamonds just to get him started. Uh, 10 diamonds. It should be enough to make him some iron pick a diamond pickaxe, some armor, maybe a sword if you have extra... And yeah, I think he lives... Oh, I'm lagging here again. Seriously, every time. There. So, hope you just got started in this server. Hope this would help. Merry Christmas from Green. So, I do hope... I mean, I, it's not much. I, like I said, I don't really have a lot of money. <laughs> a lot of diamonds. So, uh, this is kind of a small gesture. I kind of just pull it out because this makes my life easier. Okay. Okay, but yeah, uh, it's kind of just a small gesture because, like I say, he did have like a pretty rough start. So hopefully that will help. Meanwhile, we're gonna go back and do our cactus farm because that needs a lot of work. It's been a couple of days since I last logged on to the server. I think it's it almost a week, but not a week. I think it's about four days, and this is what I've done only. <laughs> I didn't. I haven't been doing much uh, for a few reasons, uh, but we'll get to that later. But one of the reason was, I mean, one thing I did was I messed up at the glass area. As you can see now, I kind of piled this area with glass. So initially, I dyed the glass with uh, light grey and I ended up hating the whole design. I had to you know gather more sands and actually dyed enough light grey glass for the whole area. So now I had to re, uh, recollect sands for glass and that took some time. And yeah, and such like that. But also, uh, life has been pretty busy. I've been sick and such like that. But anyway, uh, this is sort of the basic design that uh, I plan to have. It's supposed to look tawny and everything. I'm still not too sure about the whole middle part. I actually based it on the original cactus design. Uh, as you can see, let me show you one example of cactus. By the way, this farming is quite efficient compared to the previous one. So you can see there's like a middle line over here at the cactus. And that's what I've been trying to emulate. I've been looking into it a lot more. Uh, 
and I've been trying to get that same effect, but I think just having your builds be expanded like 10 times larger than the cactus, that it doesn't look as well. Initially, I used wool. I, I used clay and wool, and this to and it, it was very contrast, but I find it too contrast, and I didn't like it, so I thought of trying glass so that it blends a little bit more. The colors are more uh, harmony compared to being totally opposites. And it does look better, but at the same time, I'm not feeling it. I feel like I could do some more improvement, but I'm really not sure what else I could do. But yeah, I'm just going to end it here right now because I really want to sleep. I was I didn't log on just to show you guys what I've done. Obviously, it's not much, but uh, now that I sort of have the basic design, I do hope I can speed up the whole process and build the roof and everything by next episode. I don't know, but I do have plans for next episode, and I hope you guys are ready to watch it. <laughs> but I guess that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you do, please subscribe or like, and we shall see you next time. Goodbye.